What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at the Leon right mid. That is... Romain, Roman. If you want cheap and reliable coins, go over to U7 Buy in the description. Look at all the coins, go to your purchase, and before you hit checkout, make sure you use the discount code JT11. Use the code and you should get 5% off all of your FIFA 20 free coins. And in today's video, the 86 right mid is going to be the feature. We actually have done a game with him. Um, we actually have done pretty much a whole review and realized the mic was turned off. Which is always fantastic. So we know a little bit about this card. We were using him in champs. And we did get our first win with him. He has uh, a decent, a decent amount of stats as well. Some really good upgrades from his gold card. And he can go lengthy. Hence why we've got the architect on him already. In terms of this card, from his 78. Which also can be a cam and right wing. As well as his right mid base. He is a left footed with a 12 increase on pace and physical. 5 on dribbling. 9 on passing. 10 on his shooting and also a free minus on his defending, which I'm absolutely okay with. A four-star, three-star. He's obviously got flair and outside of the foot as the traits, as you can see. And his stats throughout are very nice. We're going to go straight into some gameplay here because we know a little bit more about this card already. We've kind of used him, tried him out, seen what he's all about. So we're going to go again into foot champs and hopefully get back-to-back -back wins with him, which would be perfect because this guy personally has the chance to become my next player in my right mid uh, kind of role. At the moment, we used to have uh, Kulaveski there. So unfortunately for him, he might be taken out. He is only on two chem, which again, is a lot of the times fine, I find. It doesn't matter if all of them are not on free now. As long as the stats are pretty good in the meantime, you are absolutely fine with it. I'm interested to know his left back, who he's got, because we just went against Gossens, who did an absolute service. But so... No one's going to believe it, but Gossens is on the... No. What are the chances? So, AC Me Rolling is the exact same name with the exact same badge that we literally just played. But that isn't his team. That is absolutely mad. What are the chances back-to-back -back foot champs players? Unless there is actually um, some sort of name glitch or, or something that shows the exact same player. That is absolutely crazy. So, in terms of this guy, he's going to be that right mid up and down a pitch. Given the service to Mbappe, given the service to Nunez, he has got that lengthy trait. He is left-footed, and there's no way he is going to open up with the first goal in this champs match. But that, that, that's technically better, so you get a better review out of it. He never got a goal in the previous match, and I think he came close, but most definitely didn't score. So, honestly, good start already. Straight in there. The one thing that I always found with him is that he is always available to to be passed to as he finds some cracking dribbling into Nunez, who's going to bag the second. And I think we've already got a rage quit. Now we know if the next match he is called AC Me Roland, you will agree with me that that is actually somebody because that is nuts that it's the same team name. Okay, so this is going to be the test for him. He's going up against Furlan Mendy, probably the best left mid, uh, left back over maybe Cancelo to some extent. The lengthy element will kind of give him that little bit of an edge. So it's going to be an interesting one as we find the through ball straight to Mbappe there, who's going to try and have to do something with it if he can. There it is. Oh, it's a good challenge from Alaba. The one thing we did try with this guy and I know it's, it's a little bit scummy at times, is this. Get the goal. Get the goal. A little bit more up, and that's probably going in. I know that is kind of like a glitch. And, and yes, you've got to kind of take it where you can, to be honest. It's foot champs. Everything matters. We've had penalty glitch after penalty glitch on previous games. Sometimes you've got to take the chances that are presented to you as we find him down the wing, or maybe not, because Alaba is an absolute unit. Already there, ready to receive the ball. He's going to get the pass out to Mbappe. And it is nice that you have obviously got his left foot as well. His right foot, from from what I've learned, is not necessarily the greatest. He does try and get the ball in a lot, which is always good. His passing it, with an architect, obviously, is going to be somewhat of a high rating, which is always good, as we do need that. As we, Oh, God, we're just missing the ball there. Going to go a bit down the wing. I think Furlan Mendy might actually be kind of his match as we try and cut in on the inside it's a good tackle from furland he is just a phenomenal 83 left back this year last year the year before he has been stunning and so hard to beat and again into him we're gonna see a bit more of a passing game to try and get him in as to be honest this guy is not giving up any pressure jeez 
from the moment go. I don't know if he can handle all of this every every minute of the game because he's got to slip up somewhere. But so far, the pressure on that first touch has been absolutely immense. I do admit, once he gets to his top speed as well, he's very, very quick. And that is where the length he will come into it. And a lot of people... I think they do see it and don't see it, and it all depends on old gen, new gen. Obviously, with old gen, they don't actually have the lengthy components, so it's almost like the faster players are the better players still, whereas in new gen, it is all about that lengthy attribute. That is just the best thing that you can use. It just gives you that edge, Like hence why I'm using Nunes, an 82-rated striker, which, again, we've got Furlan Mendy, like I said, at left back, and he doesn't need... It doesn't nat naturally need a lengthy component to actually be good in any FIFA, but most definitely that helps him out tenfold. And especially if you are going for lengthy wingers, it's almost like you need a lengthy winger to go against him because he's just quicker than everybody otherwise. There it is. Bang! There's Nunez. Beautiful. Good play up. He gets it into Mbappe, gets the ball into Nunez, and that's a goal. Oh, it's a cracking turn. Can he get a bit of a... It's the, the only problem. It is the only downside to this card is that weak foot, unfortunately. Everything else is absolutely spot on. The uh, the three-star uh, weak foot is, is just not enough, unfortunately. And that's where, if I find anybody with the same sort of stats, if he's got a four-star weak foot, that personally will put him ahead, no matter what. Oh, that's in. It's got to be a good ball into Mbappe. Gets the free kick. I should have took the free kick. There was no way he was beating the keeper. That is a solid bit of play between the two. So going into the overall four the second time today. This card, solid card. I think he's actually done a really, really nice job coming in. He's gone into foot champs, threw him into the deep end, and he's he's responded pretty well. Managed to get two wins. Unfortunately, one loss, but we can kind of take that. The problem is... We've got an inform requirement. So, ban down our hatches. We're going to be getting more and more of these as we go forward now. Once they start, they, they normally just keep going. But an inform, 83 rated squad, 285s, and a league gun player, and an 84 rated squad coming in at 42k. Personally, I think that's a, a really nice card. Definitely worth a look at at the minimum. In terms of right mids, really, it's just Messi who can only be right mid in league gun that you want. In terms of France, I, we didn't actually even look at France. So... France, France, France. We have got uh, Pires, obviously, left mid. Makalele. Um, oh, uh, I didn't realize Henri could go right wing. Lamar, center mid. There is very little actual right mids. Dembele is a solid, solid one. So, again, there's only a couple that can only be right mid, as well as himself. He can be a cam. So, if you have got a position kind of filled with a right mid, don't forget that you can, obviously, alter his position to go in the middle as well. And that is always brilliant because it, out of the two of them, if I was going a Dembele and a... Um, What's his name? Roman? Romain? Um, obviously, I would prefer Dembele to be either the cam or the right wing, and then he could play the other position, to be honest. With the architect, obviously, lengthy, as well as getting great passing upgrades, as well as physicality. I think it's a card that must be done. First rule break is done. SBC price is nice. The card's got all round very good stats. What's not to love? So let me know down below what you think. Do check out the videos on the left-hand side. And if you want to subscribe for more, we're going to be taking a look at more Rule Breakers cards and tomorrow doing a tier list on the best Rule Breakers. Bye from that. Make sure you like and subscribe on this one. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.